Welcome to an online video from the Fourths Timeline Project. This presentation is part of the Landscape of Inspiration theme. Welcome to the University of Stirling. Art can be found throughout the university campus. Why did a new university place so much emphasis on building a collection? The answer lies with the first principle, a scientist who wove art into its very DNA. The University of Stirling is one of the new universities that were founded to allow some innovation in what tends to be a pretty conservative type of institution. When the university was founded in 1967, its first principal was Professor Tom Cottrell, an esteemed scientist with an artistic background. His mother was an artist and he occasionally gave lunchtime lectures. He set aside 1% of the building budget to acquire art and works soon adorned the university buildings. We've tried to do some other things as well, like paying attention to the arts, giving students more opportunity of experiencing the arts, and of course, quite apart from all that, we have a certain distinction by being the lucky possessors of a very beautiful site. The university's first curator, Matilda Mitchell, assisted Tom in those formative years. Matilda's role was not official, but she was tasked with approaching the Scottish Arts Council, artists and other organisations to start the collection. Tom and Matilda were looking for works of national significance. If they'd simply bought posters or prints, the collection would not be here as it stands today. In September 1968, the J.D. Ferguson Memorial Collection was donated to the university. It came about because of the connection between Tom Cottrell and Margaret Morris, partner of J.D. Ferguson. Margaret supported Tom's vision for art in the new university. It was a real boost to the fledgling collection. It was the first time the J.D. Ferguson Foundation had donated a collection to a university gallery. This is one of my favourite um, paintings in the university art collection uh, by Ferguson of Glen Isla. He's brought a Cezanne-like quality to the, to the painting. I think he's brought more French colour into the into Glen Isla than is, and actually exists. I, but I really love the heathery Scottish sky and the, and the intense green fields. In 1997, the university made a request to the Scottish Arts Council and received 15 paintings and three sculptures. It was the most significant gift to the collection since the Ferguson donation. Professor Cottrell's vision to use art to support learning lives on today. The collection continues to grow through bequests, grants and fundraising. It has become a distinct part of Scotland's National Contemporary Art Collection and is open to the public every day. To explore the rich variety of museums, galleries and sites of historic interest in the Forth Valley, visit www.forthstimeline.net.